Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Where is my setup good? My setup is good. Um <laughs> I'm gonna just wander around in here. I don't think there's much. I don't I'm not really also interested in stealing things, but I would like to maybe read Oh my gosh, there's an upstairs. Oh there's more? What's going on? There's more over here? Oh, this is the back end of the main hall? Oh, I could've like Oh, these are like the locked gates. I see, I see. Well hang on, let's see. I'm gonna read it. A handwritten tome documenting various tried and tested ways to track mind flares and the results of each endeavor. Well, why? Why not tell me some of that for myself? Um, I'm not interested in stealing their stuff. I engage in fair trade. Have faith, Greg. I see they're letting even istic mercenaries in these days. A mercenary and paladin. Leave me alone. The watch must remain undisturbed. He's very smiley <laughs> for a kid. I wasn't much better than the current stock when I was a yank. I was. Good job they beat the subversion out of you. Right, Garath. My life is infinitely better here watching this back door. I'm not letting you bring me down. The Kithrak will appreciate me eventually. Oh, so he's still, he's a bit subversive, potentially. And she is like, no, well, one day we'll be seen and appreciated cliffside. Excusey? Yeah, save. I don't, I, I don't know why I saved on top of that, but I did. Let's see. Is there another way in? I could have come in through this way. That would have been interesting. Apparently. Where? Where? Oh! There truly is a variety of ways to get in. Dang, if somebody had found this from the outside, they would have been very diligent. I thought I did a pretty good job. Well, I'll give it a shot. Oh, wow, oh, freaking, we can level up. How exciting. I've wondered, because Karlak leveled up. What level are we now? Level 8. Man, we're getting there. I'm excited. A new feat. Oh, God, I knew there was something. What did I want? Oh. I know for Lazelle, I wanted heavy armor for her, potentially. I don't know if that, like, totally works against her being a more dexterous person, but what did I want for myself? Oh, I was going to do ritual spells. I was going to learn speak with animals. I think I already... Do I already have... I mean, I have the necklace. I don't think I actually have speak with the dead unless I have the necklace on. So getting this would allow me to have a different necklace. Here, let's quick save. Yes, ritual spellcaster. This is what I wanted. Speak with the dead. Speak with animals. Oh, maybe I'll get her warcaster. You gain advantage on saving throws to maintain concentration on a spell. You can always use a reaction to cast shocking grass with a target moving out of melee range. Um, she has some really good concentration spells. I I mean, there's all there's good stuff. I'm sure if pe some people are grinding their teeth, like the ability improvement would obviously be good. But right now, she I mean, she's pretty good. Wisdom 18, con and dex at 14. So there, if I if I increased each one by one, it wouldn't do anything. I'd have to increase one by two, you know. So I think I'll go with Warcaster. <laughs> I just, I think it's so funny. I've got her in like Murica armor. I need to change her armor. Health increased. Okay, I wanted to. Yeah, she's not really a dex build. She's a strength and con build. So I kind of want to give her heavy armor. Alert would be good for her too, but. I wanted to do heavily armored. Armor proficiency with heavy armor. And you gain a strength. Let's see. Because I have... Oh, enough waiting. I crave... Violence. I crave violence. 
uh, she's a medium armor kind of gal, and I was like, man, I would really like to give her some heavy armor. And I have so many. I have I oodles and oodles of them. I remember I really liked this one for myself. It looks interesting on Lazelle. It doesn't necessarily, necessarily look like one she'd wear. Anyway, happy day for you, Lazelle. You get All's some new well armor. Ends. Not as bad as it could have. Everybody's beef. Also, look at Soldier. Carlax. Let's see. AC 18 because of the gloves I gave her. AC 21, baby. AC 20. AC 18. <laughs> we are doing good. one true Great. way. I am having a great time. Never a dull moment. This is my untouchable girl fight squad. Strange that one of your kind would be allowed here, especially during an inquisition. Nobody's told me I can't be here. I think we all will when this pestilent search is finally over. Uh, quick save. Is the Kithrak the Inquisitor or the Dragon Rider? A or the captain? Hey, nothing. Maybe things will be better when the Chikrai... The Chikrai... Discover artifact secrets. Oh, don't mind me. Ha -ha. Please, Chikrai. I can explain. The latest batch of cultists knew nothing of the Astral Prism. They were just trying to find Moonrise. They all head there. My Gish have drafted plans to assault the tower. They are ready to fight, Chikrai. We could sift the missing artifact from the tower's ashes. If you would give us... Quiet. Find the astral prism, Therizin. My patience falters. Yes, Chirai. Chirai. You heard him. Go! So they're just wandering around, and they... Do as she says. She remains your Kithrak. For now. She's the captain. Okay. Secret door. Or sort of a shielded door. Don't mind me. Uh, okay, so astral prism is what we have. And we cannot eat. We can't fast travel out of here. Hmm. I'm not here. Oh, speak to the captain. Let's see how well she handles this. Oh, okay, you're not here, and the captain is losing, uh... Oh no. Oh no. Eee. Oh. An Who's frightened? In my crash. You are one of the mercenaries sent to bring the weapon. The Istic is with me, honored Kithrak. So noted. But my question goes unanswered. Do you bring the weapon? Oh, I was. I think the the the. Don't tell her. Yeah, anything. Oh, I'm not. Um, the the dragon rider. We got away with from the dragon rider by saying, yeah, yeah, we'll totally help you. <laughs> so, um, uh, sure, I have a weapon. Want to see your blood on it? These are so dumb. Um, there's a Mind Flayer invasion in progress. Why is that not your priority? I think being somewhat militaristic, I would ask that. You are well informed. My crash discovered the same. We know infected flock to Moonrise Towers. I reported the gathering masses back to Tunarath. In response, they sent an Inquisitor. Instead of ordering an assault, we were told to join in this mad hunt for an ancient relic. Meanwhile, illithid sickness spreads right in front of us. Just attack. Uh, what is so important about this weapon? They're so cute. Look at them. They were just eating humanoids, but like they're so cute. Um, also, I think we got frightened from... I don't know if these creatures have like an aura or something, but... Um, Karlak didn't save against the frightened thing. What is so important about this weapon? I do not know. This hunt is the Inquisitor's folly, not mine. What does it look like? It is small, angular, metal, adorned with Tiersu script. Stolen by true soul heretics. Mm. You sense Shadowheart's worry. 
This weapon sounds like the artifact you carry. Mm. What was that look? You know something. Do you Oh no. Am I gonna hold oh, nope, I don't know nothing. I know nothing. Oh no. Uh yeah, no. I am uh I'm definitely quick saving on that. Oh, I'm doomed. Mm. Oh dang. Unless we no. Oh yeah. Okay. I was like, my math was wrong. Okay. I was like, unless we get like a max roll. Oh jeez. Okay. Wait. Who? Who? I have been honestly. I know I reloaded that one earlier, but I've been pretty lucky in the last couple episodes. Then stop wasting my time. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah. Yeah. You are one of the mercenaries we engaged, are you not? I mean, bold of you to assume. Uh, yeah. I will be on the search immediately. I have business to attend to. Return with the weapon, or do not return at all. Can I talk to you about other things? Quick save again, just in case she gets angry and tries to kill me. I presume you are not stupid enough to return <coughs> empty-handed. So, give me the weapon now. Uh, no, okay, I'm gonna reload on that. Just not, okay, so we don't get to talk to her anymore. Dang it, there were some questions I wanted to ask. I seem to get stuck down these conversations. I mean, that's kind of how it is in real life, right? Like, you just kind of go down a conversation trail and you don't, you're not like, oh, mm, yes. I mean, you can always say, you know, oh, hey, back on that point previous, but like, I just, and I try usually in games like narrative games like this where you can choose your options. I try to pick the options that are not obviously going to lead to like the end of the conversation. So I can go back and keep asking questions. But um, can I talk to That's one of you? Task. We won't say it to all. Armor and all. Took me a whole ten day to pull. <laughs> If she keeps making me eat armor, I'm going on hunger strike. <laughs> um... What are these... Yeah, they weren't, I don't think, associated with anyone in particular. Well, because didn't... We had something... Lazel wanted to... Maybe See I can nothing. have Lazel talk to her. Let's see, because Lazel wanted to report the potential, like, what do you call it, um, fraud. What is the word? Some sort of tampering with the, I was trying to, like, like underhanded something. I cannot think of the word for some reason. Looking oh, wait, no. Let's see. Indolence breeds madness. Let's see. You are not familiar to okay. me, still. Do you bring news of the weapon? Uh, oh yeah, we seek, uh, that's right, the, we seek audience with your Inquisitor, there's a traitor among you. A Sharlak? Among us? Whom would you accuse? Well, we don't know who the traitor is, that's for your Inquisitor to know. Take me to him? Vague allegations and undue demands. A poor introduction for an unproven Vin Isk. The very same said to hold the weapon we seek. Give it to me. Huh? What? No. Then I will take it from your corpse. How did she? How did she know I have it? The very same who is said to have the weapon. How did? But they don't know who has the weapon. We'll just go find the Inquisitor, I guess. He went behind the door. Or we can ask somebody else. I don't want to make an enemy of the Gith Crash. There there will be there will be playthroughs someday where I will happily do all kinds of crazy things, but that is not this playthrough. What's up for discussion? If you're not here to help, you're in the way. Move along. Can I go in here? Insert item. What? We have talked to the our captain of the Githyanki crash, and I've got a long the only ride thing ahead. she wants from me is to show her the artifact, which I don't want to do. So um, I guess I don't get to do that. I don't know. 
Like, the game is like, here's your quest, and I'm like, oh, I have to do the quest, but sometimes you don't have to. I was kind of trying to see, it looks like there might be other options for getting in. This doesn't look like the only way. Or no, it does. Unless there's like a secret entryway through the classroom. Maybe there's a way to go around the cliffs. And I, because we couldn't fast travel in this area of the classroom. So it must, it was, it's probably associated with this. Well, let's go explore the outside. Here we go. I get, oh wait. Their forces are getting closer. A map of the Sword Coast. My people have scouted well beyond the temple. Be aware, cultists must be captured on site. Interrogation swift but effective. Search for the artifact thorough. Priority one. Dang, so I climbed up a little bit of the cliff. Got a bunch of arrows here. There's gotta be another way to get to the Inquisitor. Oh. Arskel Stockhold, Dawnmaster. From death, life. Uh, well, don't mind me. <laughs> I'm going to dig up your grave. Listen, I need, uh, I think I need your weapon that's probably in there. Nope. A rusty mace. Master of his craft. Hang on. I love a Don Master Stockhold buried with ceremonial mace in honor of many humble maces he wielded in his lifetime as he purged evil from this land. A gold band shirt. It's a rusty mace. Send it to Carlac, I guess? I don't know if it counts. I don't know how to fix Come a on, rusty let's mace. Go. Well, that's three of the weapons, it, ostensibly. I don't know if this is actually the ceremonial mace. But it's pretty lucky happenstance to come across him back here, honestly. Okay, I'm hoping this is uh, just a continuation of the episode, but we'll see. Uh, I did play for about 20 minutes. I was... I think I mentioned I've been, I was trying for like 20 minutes before that to find a different entrance, could not find one. Uh, as far as I know, I cannot, I cannot see a different entrance. Uh, I came in here to try to find another one, but I also thought, oh hey, I should maybe put the weapons up to see if they do anything. Uh, it turns out when I put this rusty mace on here, it said, oh, like my character said, what did I say? You can just put any, you see all these, this is, that's, I'll get to that. Looks like any regular weapons I have work here too. For these, it was they were the actual ceremonial weapons though. However, the rest of it is me <laughs> trying to place, I drop a ritual axe, I place it on the altar, and then I get knocked down and take, a, and take damage. And I did that for several weapons, including, you know, quarterstaffs, a bow, basically everything, war axe, pickaxe, everything that I have, I tried. Uh, I don't know of any clues, but obviously something's going on. Right? Like, I placed these, and they started glowing again. Um, so, something's gotta go here, and I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just a weapon type I don't have. I did spear, I did, I did everything I have, which would be hilarious if it was a type that I just don't have. Flails, I tried it all. Um, Nothing worked. Uh, it just kept knocking me down and giving me damage uh, over time. But I and I don't. I can't think of anything in any of the books I've read while I'm in here that would tell me what this is, unless it's like blood or something. Like I don't know. <sighs> yeah, I have. I have no idea what it could be that is supposed to be placed there, but I'm gonna leave these here for now because I'm hoping they'll, you know, mean something eventually. If I could, there. So 
got that on the map at least. But yeah, so if the gods I was hoping maybe me. that would help, give me something that would help me for anything or open up something somewhere. Uh, however, that does not appear to be. So I think I'm gonna have to go back into fresh and send somebody else to talk to the captain. We've already seen that Lazelle didn't work out, so... Listen, don't tell her anything. Oh, whoops, I apparently... <sighs> apparently I reloaded... When I did reload, all the way back to this? Okay, I just checked, and I did... Apparently I already... I don't know if I'm gonna include it all, but I tried to talk to her with Karlak. She acted like we hadn't talked about it at all before, and so I was confused, so I went back and tried to see, like, I was like, maybe I reloaded too early, but no, um, I could not talk to her with my main character, with Ovidira, so I will be I'm gonna hurt. try having Lazel talk to her again. Doctor. The Gustil. A strong accusation from the mouth of a Vin Isk. Shema is love, if no, then I will take it from your corpse. Nope, okay, that didn't work. It doesn't matter if I'm bold with my accusations or not. I seek an audience with your Inquisitor. There's a traitor among you. She speaks the truth, Kithrak. A Sharlak. Among us? Whom would you accuse? Doctor. The Gustil. A strong accusation from the mouth of an Istic. The very same set up Shimar's Alavlaki. Give it to me. Kinda looks like I'm being forced into a fight no matter what. I I'm no. Alright. I'm done I'm done trying to fix it. <laughs> so we're just gonna fight our way through. We have banishment. Banish your target to another plane of existence. Oh my gosh, and we have Polymorph, which is hilarious. Well, we've got a creature here, so let's give it a try. Dang it! I'm sad. I kind of don't, I really don't believe that Lazelle would, I almost said Estelle, Lazelle would fight her own people on this. Like, I have a very hard time believing that. I don't think she would hide the the artifact, so I'm kind of surprised that we're doing this still. Stark out greedily, dealing an additional three piercing damage per 300 gold that the target possesses. The gold will be consumed. What kind of thing is that to do? Oh my goodness! And great. I knew we had to kill her faster. Ah, I should have focused on her. And I'm afraid! What? Oh my gosh. This is going very poorly. I don't know, I feel like I'm ham-handing this. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty miffed, honestly. Like, I, I'm not... I'm not happy. Oh, and apparently I'm only knocked out Ardent General. But we did kill the Kethric. I don't- does somebody have, like, the passive on somehow? Oh, it doesn't look like anybody is necromanciable, also. And they just- I guess I'll close the door. Um, but we- I don't know, I don't like this at all. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Okay, I have no idea where we're at in this episode. This is my third time trying to record this episode. Well, my third time, my third instance of this episode, I guess. It's all been continual. Anyway, a quick summary. I haven't liked any of the outcomes. Anyway, it's been a huge pain in the butt. I actually stopped playing. I haven't played since yesterday because I was so frustrated. And I was talking to one of my friends and I was like, I don't know how to fix I, I, I feel like there has to be another way to do this like I can't just be walking because like, the game is like stonewalled me here where it's like you have to talk to the captain to get information about the artifact or and you have to talk to the captain to get to the inquisitor and none of those conversations work out 
And it just doesn't make sense to only kill some of the Gith and then, like, expect to be able to walk out without massacring everybody. I just don't want to do that. Um, and so, I, while I was talking to my friend, though, I had the idea that I am going to try and pickpocket this woman to get whatever I think, whatever device I think she has in order to activate the Githyanki Barrier Disruptor. So... Oh, we can't. Okay, we just gotta walk out of this room really fast because we can't fast travel. But let's ride. Once we're out in the hall, we can flip over, and I'm going me. to bring a Starian. Mm -mm -mm. So I kind of want to keep Shadowheart, but I also want to keep Lizel. <laughs> would I? Would I? Would I have to send Carlac back? That would be wild. I guess I can leave Carlac behind. I don't have to keep her with me. It's just she's been with me since the start. I don't think. Well, I, you know, there was that whole grueling like 15 hours where I didn't have her, and it was excruciating. Um, but I shall. Oh, Arabella is still with us. I guess. All right then. I'm dealing with that later. Right now. A moment for the two of us. Right now, a moment for the two of us. Ugh, another dead end. If the tadpole doesn't kill us, trying to cure it just might. That's exactly what I said. About our illusion, Liz, I love you. Oh, come on. You don't mean I that. Just, it's like leaving a puppy dog behind. Never mind, you can stay. <laughs> no. Oh, fine. I'll be here eating dirt or whatever. Listen, I don't want to be bringing this guy either, but, you know, sometimes... Sometimes you gotta, you gotta take the person who likes you the least instead of the person who likes you the most. I'm not surprised that the Gith's insane device didn't remove our tadpoles. I'm just disappointed. I'm just disappointed. Well, uh, we. Darling, I thought you'd never ask. Listen, I need you to steal something Lead on. for me. <laughs> I need you to steal something. I'm torn between mobile. An ability improvement because if I get his dex up one and his wisdom up one, which the wisdom would be for perception checks, uh, I think I, I might lean towards that because that would bump him up to the next level, right? Of, of the dex and wisdom, like saving throws and stuff, modifiers and whatnot. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that because I. I don't wanna spend too long on this. I got things to do. <laughs> Oh, shoot. Oh, that's me? Okay, I was like, he's got that too? No, that is me. Um, anyway, how exciting. Let's, I, apparently everybody has things to say about the, um, whatchamacallit. Uh, should I put the egg, should I put the egg in my camp? I don't, I feel like I should carry that around, but I also think I should not carry that around. But I also think I shouldn't just leave it in my camp. What if it hatches? <laughs> and then Will and Gail are like, oh, and they become impromptu fathers, and there's a whole fan fiction right there. It's for free. It's free. Free real estate. Anyway, let's see if we can't get your boy ahead. into here and doing what I want with him. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Okay. Okay, if I can get him over here. I don't know if I can get him behind her without triggering anything. Alright, we did, we did. Um, I don't know if casting anything will set them off on me. And does he have... He does not have a potion of invisibility. No time to dally. Send that to Asterion. I might be going overboard on this, but I'm gonna cast Pass Without a Trace. I'm going to give him an invisibility potion. Like, we are... We are in this to win this. Ready. Alright. Uh huh, a geese shard. Oh, baby. We got a good chance. Quick, easy. Uh, okay. uh, oh, apparently, so the invisibility. Visibility only lasts. Like. To never? It just. I wasted my invisibility potion, I guess? 
And possibly pass without a trace, but I don't really care about that. Uh, all right, whatever. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're, I said we're in it to win it, and that's what we're doing. Uh, okay, the issue here is now if we can actually get through do we still have how many turns it just kind of goes until thief's been picking pockets here this would be a good moment to explain yourself that's right that's right um Try to who, but who's being spoken to is the thing here. Estherian is. No, uh, we're gonna we're gonna donate. The benefit of the doubt can only be Whew. bought so many times. This was the last of those. I know times. it's a lot of money, but I'm not gonna be trying to talk through things with Estherian. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's. Uh, um, how do I? Oh, I gotta like. You would be. Oh, it is you. Excuse me. It's talk. I will not have you sneaking through my crash. Quiet, Ferrazin. <gasps> I wish to speak with this one. As you wish, Chirai. Make haste. We have business to conduct. Okay. Oh, baby. I knew there had to be another way. I'm, I'm kind of hoping that Asterion's not the one locked into this, but we'll see. Okay. I think that was the Inquisitor speaking. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, let's save, game. I don't blame you. Okay, this is much better. And with that, we'll have to go ahead and cut it off there. I realize a lot have been, uh, believe me, a lot more happens in the next little bit. That's why I had to cut it off here because it was a little bit too long to have in one video. Um, but things are going down and I'm, I'm much more pleased with this outcome. I know it seems it's probably pretty choppy, the episode, but there was kind of a lot of stopping and starting, really, where I was like, I don't know what to do. And I was trying to figure things out. And anyway... Uh, it's it's working out uh, better in my mind. It may not seem like too different, but uh, it personally it just feels better the way this outcome is working out. So I'm very happy that we are we are going this way. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my Acorn Tier patrons. Thank you so much, Faden, for your support. I very much appreciate it. I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my Sapling Tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me in the channel and who I truly, honestly cannot thank enough. So thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.